Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. EastEnders spoilers for next week. Linda's worrying confession and Denise spirals. EastEnders spoilers for next week reveal two possible killer confessions on the BBC soap, leading to worrying scenes for all of those involved in the recent Christmas death. EastEnders viewers can expect tense and worrying scenes ahead especially for Linda Carter and Denise Fox. Fans know that both characters, along with Stacey Slater, Sharon Watts, Suki Panasar, and Kathy Beale, were caught up in the recent murder of Keanu Taylor at Christmas. In the fallout, Denise is struggling with her actions, and the fact her necklace has been buried with Keanu's body at the cafe. Linda was the one who stabbed and killed Keanu after he attacked Sharon, and now the six have sworn to keep their secret. But in upcoming scenes, it's clear some of the women are struggling more than others. Denise continues to spiral, worrying her family as well as those guarding her secret. But as she seeks out a psychic, might she blow their cover? Linda is also left panicked when she makes a confession to friend Alfie Moon. But what will she reveal? Linda Carter makes a huge confession to Alfie Moon, after the Christmas Day murder next week. In upcoming scenes, Alfie meets a nervous fellow patient called Shahur during one of his last radiotherapy sessions, but feels lonely when Shahur's loved ones show up while he's alone. After treatment, Linda invites him for a drink in the Vic, also inviting Ian Beale and Billy Mitchell along for company. The drinks go well until Alfie can't get to the toilet in time and has an accident. Alfie is mortified about wetting himself, but Linda begs him to open up about his cancer diagnosis. Eventually, Alfie opens up and his shocked friends vow to be there for him. Later, Linda is shaken when Ricky sends a photograph of Mick and Janine's baby, and soon Alfie finds her drunk and inconsolable in the Albert, where he takes her home. During a drunken heart-to-heart, -heart, Linda says more than she should, is the Christmas Day murder secret out. The next day, Linda is shaken to receive a text from Alfie asking to talk about what she said. Fearing she may have confessed, a rattled Linda turns to drink before she heads off to meet Alfie. During their meeting, Linda twists the truth to put Alfie off the scent. But has she done enough and what has she told Alfie? In scenes next week, it's Denise's birthday, but she has forgotten all about it. Upon her family excitedly greeting her with birthday celebrations, she is so overwhelmed that she rushes out. Concerned partner Jack follows and tries to find out what's wrong, but Denise knows she can't open up to him. Later, the family are all upset and confused with a scared Raymond begging her to go back to being his mummy again. After realizing her family's concern, Denise decides to tell Jack everything. Later in the week, it's the day of baby Charlie's guardianship hearing, with Lily and Ricky both nervous. Meanwhile, Denise is surprised to hear from Nish that he had an altercation with Jack and Stacy. Stacy convinces her it was over Suke, but Denise is so rattled that she rushes off as both families walk into the courtroom. Later, a worry Chelsea finds Denise and begs her to seek help from medical professionals. Meanwhile, Jack joins a party at the Slaters, and Stacy takes him aside to ask about Denise. The next day, Denise wakes up screaming in her sleep, but Jack is not there. Later, when he gets home, Jack is short with Denise over missing the court hearing while she asks where he's been all night, to which he makes an excuse about work. This leaves Denise paranoid as she fears that the case might be connected to the Christmas Day death and steals his phone to find out. At Fox and Hare, Denise overreacts when Penny says she's ringing Jack and the mobile rings on her desk. In true soap style, Jack arrives and a row breaks out, where Denise reveals he slept with someone else to a disgusted Penny. Following this, Denise seeks out an unlikely confidant. Later, at the Vic, psychic Madame Tellerina takes the stage as Denise wanders in, 
and immediately sparks concern from the others as she looks terrible. And it's not long until Kathy, Stacy, and Suki are left shocked when Denise volunteers to go on stage, hoping to get some answers to her despair, and later, at home, her grip on reality slips even further.